Today we're going to be looking at notes using the distance formula. It's used in our everyday world. First we're going to look at distance found from a graph. So what if we had a graph that looked like this one? So to find the distance of this graph we need to follow a few steps. The first thing we need to do is to draw a right triangle. And you could do that two ways. You could go with the triangle above it, or you could do the triangle below it, like this one. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Um, just pick one and they'll both give you the exact same answer. Our second step is to count for the measures of the legs. So this leg, if I count over, goes one, two, three. And this leg, if I count up, goes one, two, three, four. So my legs are three and four. My last step is to use Pythagorean theorem to find the distance. And to give you a refresher, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a and b are the length of your legs and c is the length of your hypotenuse. For this problem, our hypotenuse is our distance and our legs are what we found, the three and the four. Now we're going to plug them into the equation and solve to find our distance. So one of our leg distances is three, we're going to square that. Our other leg distance is four and we're going to square that. And then our answer is also squared. Three squared is nine. 4 squared is 16, 16 plus 9 is 25, but our C is squared, so we need to undo that. To undo it, you take the square root of both sides, and the square root of 25 is 5. So that means that our distance for this line is 5, or 5 units. We want to do one more example. So what if we had a graph that looked like this? Now we need to find the distance of this line. So we can draw the legs of our triangle. B4. A and 4. So now we're going to plug that into our Pythagorean theorem, which again is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. One of our legs is four, we're gonna square that. The other leg is eight, we're gonna square that, and our answer is squared. Four squared is 16, eight squared is 64, and our answer is squared. 64 plus 16 is 80, and to undo that, we take the square root. And there is no perfect square root of 80, so we need to get out a calculator And on this calculator is set up just like our other ones. It just is an older model, but you do everything the same way. So to do a square root, you would hit second, and then this button right here, because right above it is our square root symbol. So second, and the next squared, and then we're gonna put in 80. And that tells us that our distance is 8.9480. Write the summary for the bottom of this page. Next, we're going to find distance just given two points. So what if we use the same points as before so that you can kind of see how this works, but instead of the graph, we're just using the points. So these are our points that from our um, first graph, and the first thing we need to do is to label our points x1, y1, and x2, y2. Our next step is to plug it into the formula. So this formula looks very intimidating, but once you recognize what the different pieces are, it is really no different from our previous problem. So let's start plugging things in. Our x2 is 2 minus our x1, which is negative 1, and we're going to square that, 
plus r y two, which is one, minus r y one, which is negative three, and we're gonna square that, which looks terrible, I know. But let's take it one step at a time. Remember, first we do parentheses in order of operations. So two minus a negative one is three, and one minus a negative three is four. Now at this point, if you look back to our previous problem, three and four were how long our legs are. So all this first part is, is telling you how long your legs are of on, on the coordinate plane. So at this point, it's really no different than what we did before. It's just they have this big square root symbol over the top so that you don't forget to take the square root of your answer. But otherwise, it's the exact same problem as it was for Pythagorean theorem. So now let's just simplify this. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25, and when we take the square root of that, our distance is 5 units, which is exactly what we found from the graph from before. So now let's try our other example that we had before. Our very first thing that we need to do is label my coordinates. Then we need to plug it into the formula. My x2 is 4 minus my x1 is 0, square that, plus my y2 is 5 minus my y1 is negative 3, and square that. Again, this is just finding how long my legs are. So 4 minus 0 was 4, and 5 minus a negative 3 is 8. And if you remember from the graph, my legs were 4 and 8. 4 squared is 16, 8 squared is 64, 16 plus 64 is 80, and when we take the square root using our calculator, we find that it's 8.94. Units, just like it was before. Don't forget to go down and write in your summary 